Sabaho everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is TK and this is the Samsung booth at the 2020 CES convention in Las Vegas. Today I'm going to share with you guys some of the cool tech that I found available at the booth, namely the S10 Lite, the Note 10 Lite, the Galaxy Book S, as well as the Galaxy Chromebook, and last but not least of course the G9 gaming monitor and the T7 SSD Touch, providing us great experience with a fingerprint sensor on a portable SSD. This is TK and this is CES 2020. We're going to start off with the brand new Galaxy S10 Lite. This is going to feature a 6.7 inch Full HD Plus display. This is a Super AMOLED Plus Infinity O display that we've seen on other devices, but uh, not a QHD resolution, just 1080p. And of course, what we have here is a triple camera setup on the back. Uh, we have a 5 megapixel macro lens at f2.4, a wide angle lens, 48 megapixel sensor with OIS, improved OIS with pitch and yaw, and of course, a 12 megapixel last sensor. The front facing camera is a 32 megapixel sensor with f2.2. Um, Android 10.0 with One UI 2.0 out of the box with a lot of benefits, of course, of the new features and optimizations that Samsung has already done. Uh, but of course, there is some compromises done here. Namely, uh, we don't have that QHD display. We don't have wireless charging. We also don't have a glass back. What we have essentially is a glass plastic uh, combination. And then of course, uh, we have a you know, fast charging with the 25 watt charger that comes in the box, but we are actually able to charge up that 4,500 milliamp hour battery with that 45 watt charger that we can buy for the Note 10 from last year. All of these things obviously are providing us a great combination. And of course, a set of cameras that we can definitely appreciate having 4K on the front as well as the back, since the 855 is very, very capable. Switching it over to the brand new Galaxy Note 10 Lite. Uh, now, this one shares a very similar screen size. We have a 6.7 inch Full HD Plus, again, Super AMOLED O display, which means a front facing camera that's a more of a punch hole camera. Uh, the cameras on the back are a little bit more similar to the Note 10, which means we have three 12 megapixel cameras, a standard way, uh, focal length, a wide angle lens, a telephoto lens, all 12 megapixel with dual pixel. Unfortunately, no dual apertures here, so there's not going to be a variable aperture option. But other than that, we do have actually an S Pen that is very functional, as you can see. Uh, but this S Pen is similarly functional as the Note 8 or the Note 9 S Pen, which means we can use it to initiate pictures, but we do not have gesture support. The battery that we have here is 4,500 milliamps and of course, uh, charged with a 25 watt charger that comes in the box or the 40 watt or 45 watt charger that we can buy with the Note 10. Um, both the S10 Lite and the Note 10 Lite will have a 6 or 8 gig variant with 128 gigs of internal storage, of course, providing us a lot of benefits. Uh, the Note 10 does actually have one extra feature, which is a actual 3.5 mm headphone jack that we didn't even have on the Note 10 from last year. Switching it over to the Chrome OS running the uh, Galaxy Chromebook. Uh, this was actually a, definitely something that I was very interested in looking into. You notice right off the bat that we have S Pen support that's built in, so the S Pen actually does not have to be carried, it just actually gets housed inside. Uh, the case and form function is very nice. Uh, you'll notice it's essentially very thin, the speakers were on the side, and then of course this does pass the one finger opening. Uh, Chrome OS will be running on this of course, and it is an Intel based processor that's built in here. We also have a, an actual secondary camera that's present there right at the top of the uh, actual right above the keyboard. Uh, and what that gives us is the ability of actually having dual sensors, one on the front that we can see right now that's lit up right there at the top of the bezel of the display. And of course, when we switch the actual uh, Chrome OS, well, the Chromebook all the way around to running in tablet mode, we can actually start using that secondary camera as an actual camera on the other side. So essentially giving us two cameras on a Chrome OS running PC. You'll notice right there and it looks really nice. Uh, overall, I think the uh, Chromebook uh, is essentially a really good upgrade. It's definitely thinner, lighter, uh, and smaller than what we saw with the Pixelbook Go. Now, the last PC that we saw here essentially is the Galaxy Book S. This is running uh, the 8CX chipset that we heard from Qualcomm not that long ago from the Tech Summit in Maui. And one of the benefits here essentially is this is an always-on connected PC with the Windows on ARM implementation, meaning we're always going to have great battery, lawn battery with a processor that's optimized for mobile connectivity and of course up to 20 hours of battery life with a PC running Windows on it. Now keep in mind Windows on ARM is not necessarily the most compatible operating system with all our application but hopefully as time goes on and more PCs come out with this type of technology we'll be able to see better optimization. 
Last but not least is the T7 Touch that was announced. And it also, this is basically an update to the T5 series of SSDs that we've seen before. But we actually have a fingerprint sensor that's built into this. And what makes this unique as well is that it also is a lot faster than what we had with the T5 series of devices. So if you're looking for a brand new SSD and you can wait a little bit, I definitely recommend waiting for that. Uh, I closed out the entire show by getting a chance to play a little bit with the brand new G9 monitor series that they talked about. This monitor is absolutely a beast and I wasn't even using it at the full benefit. And you notice right there with the RGB coloring on the back and the stand that comes with this. It is just absolutely fantastic. Um, it's obviously a 240 hertz uh, display and of course gaming centric but great for content creation especially for what we do because we're able to run multiple instances and actually see our entire timeline at once in Premiere or even run Premiere and Photoshop at the same time. Uh, the game that they were demoing there was just Overwatch but it definitely was very very nice. Let me know what you guys think of all of the stuff that we got to see here at the CES booth uh, from Samsung and of course from me. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support and I'll see you guys in the next video.